Hi, my name is Manny Chong. I'm a founder of Hancho Creative Agency. My journey of uh, becoming a founder of my creative agency started about three years ago. But my official work date or starting my uh, of this filmmaking journey was maybe about seven to eight years ago. So currently I'm 25 years old, so I started pretty young. What design means to me as a creative in this industry is definitely uh, solving a problem. And while solving a problem, it also looks nice, yeah, visually and aesthetically. And I think that we did achieve that uh, in this house uh, that we have created. This interior got inspired by Wabi Sabi at first, where we love uh, the idea of materials and raw materials. But I think while we were understanding what needs to be done in the house, we realised that our theme was actually going towards Japan as well. So I feel that it's a little bit of Wabi Sabi, but it's uh, technically modern Japan. When you walk into the house, we, you actually get to see an arc. We wanted to leave our shoes uh, at this arc and then step into the house feeling like new and feeling clean. So that is something that we really love about the foyer. The kitchen was built uh, so that we have an island right in front of the window because when we cook, we wanted to have a good view. And I think that was something that we really loved about the house. The second thing about the kitchen that we really love is the U-shaped space. This U-shaped space creates a flow when you do want to cook and you can go with the, the plates first uh, in terms of the drawers uh, or the cups and then moving on to the fridge and then to the stove. Our favourite appliance from the kitchen is definitely the fridge. I think the fridge really stands out the most with the automated fridge doors that open up when you touch it. That is something that us guys really like geeking out about. The next thing I really like about the kitchen as well is the hidden dish rack that is above the sink. That hidden dish rack actually works as a very functional dish rack because we wanted a dish rack but we, want, we didn't want it to be hanging over the sink. We wanted to actually create a more communal space for people. So we have this long organic wood table that we really love and I think it's something that brings the whole house together. There's also a bar table just beside it and it's somewhere that we uh, create drinks or mix drinks and we also make coffee as well. It's nice to have this uh, space uh, to assist our like, guests in terms of uh, having a good time in the house. We have built uh, smart lights together with short lighting lights and I think these two come together quite handy. Just in front of our raw wood table, we have this control panel where we can actually control the scenes and control the mood lighting that we want specifically to the situation that we need. So aside from the dining room, the living room is also made out of the, the TV area where we also put a three-seater sofa with an ottoman and I think these furnitures really blend in together with the laminates that we have chosen for the designs of the house. Uh, we specifically chose a very dark wood but with orange tints to it. I think it's something that uh, makes the house a lot more warm which helps uh, guests feel a little bit more comfortable. And the lighting of the living space helps a lot with the furniture as well because we were going for a more warm look and with the lighting in this area, it helps to assist the furniture when it comes to the moody warm look that we are looking for. The lounge room is actually what we call like a craft room where we put all our crafty stuff. We haven't prepared a table there but we are planning to actually buy a long table so that we can do crafts together with our kids next time and I think it will be quite a, a fun look. The hobby of mine that I love to do is actually 3D printing and with 3D printing it needs like kind of a space and ventilator area which the lounge actually provides. With the lounge you actually have two hidden doors. Uh, one hidden door is actually going to the storeroom and the other actually is going to my master bedroom. Leading from the hidden door to the master bedroom, we actually have a look to our vanity and wardrobe area. And our wardrobe is actually on the left side as well as our vanity on the right. We decided to have that dedicated space uh, just for like hair dryers or makeup uh, and it's something that we really appreciate a lot. From there, you actually go up the stairs leading to the second floor of our master bedroom. We love the idea of sleeping in a loft. We really appreciate the design of the bathrooms because it's all in sync with the house. We want everything in the house to come together as a flow. 
The toilet sinks are a representation of what the house is supposed to be. So it comes with organic materials. And our common toilet is actually a pebble, or a big pebble because my fiancé's name is Pebble. And our master bedroom toilet is actually wood. For our guests, we actually wanted them to be a bit more comfortable in our common toilet. So we uh, had a bit more intentions in terms of the design aspects. The reason why I chose the Demi Light for the lounge as well as the kitchen and the toilets because it's very adjustable. We actually told uh, the lighting designer in show lighting that we wanted everything soft. What he recommended us was the Demi Lights where it was not too soft as well as not too harsh. Both of us each have a workroom uh, for ourselves and when we go into my fiancé's workroom, it's uh, definitely a bit more feminine with the lime wash walls and the lighter wood, which was something that she really wanted. And coming to my workroom, uh, it's definitely more of my character when it comes to darker wood and a more industrial style. Uh, definitely the most favourite place in the house because it was very fitted to my needs as a filmmaker and entrepreneur. The favourite thing about my room is actually the, the desk because the desk is also raw and organic uh, in terms of the wood colour. The fluted panels in the room was something that I actually did with another friend of mine. We really appreciated doing DIY because it's very cheap and you have a fun activity you do with your friends. Yeah, and it's something I really encourage people to do as well. So when it came to the magnetic tracks in the living space and the workrooms, the dimmable aspects as well as the tritone really helped a lot in terms of different situations that we have. So when it came to the living space, with our guests, we actually like increase it to the max in terms of the brightness of the lights. And when it came to our workrooms, uh, specifically for my workroom, when I do editing or when I do colours, it's very nice to actually control the temperature to match my monitor as well. Lighting is important to me because it actually plays a part in terms of the design aspects. When the ID was kind of discussing with us in terms of what design inspiration we wanted, we actually had lighting very importantly placed in our minds. And it was something that we actually told our ID that, uh, you know, maybe we should actually design it really intentionally. Because as a filmmaker, I usually shoot uh, my own personal stuff at home as well. And this lighting uh, that we're going to place in this house is so important in terms of our camera work, in terms of the, the contrast, in terms of the colours. So um, that is why lighting was so important to me. We have a little light feature in the living space to highlight the TV console and it was actually the Halo Trimless and it was something our guests really complimented a lot. My favourite aspects from show lighting was definitely the experience that I had with the lighting specialist uh, when it came to planning of the lights, when it came to uh, understanding more about how lighting plays a part in terms of the living space or the dining space uh, and the other aspects. Uh, that was something that we really treasured and that is the reason why I really like show lighting. <laughs>